Okay. Good. Good morning, YouTube. And today's subject in our multicultural channel will be the culture of multicultural relationships. Sorry, had to swallow. Um, yeah, with multicultural relationships, you will find some cultural differences uh, along with traditions. And depending on where your partner comes from, obviously, will depend on the cultural differences that affect you. Um, or cultural differences that you uh, notice. So, the, uh, the, uh, in our case, the Philippines is potential. Say again, spread up. Yeah, all right, yes. Um, the Philippines is uh, quietly respectful. Um, what's that? What's that called, sweetheart? Where when you come home, the the younger sibling puts your hand on the forehead. Um, yeah. 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 Um, and you, you don't see that here in Australia. You, you, bless. Yeah. And and that's something that you don't see in Australia. Um, However, um, it's very common to be seen in the Philippines, and, hang on, just accelerating a little bit here, <laughs> it's all good, we're just going to cruise along. Yeah, there's there's many cultural differences, um, and if your wife, if your partner comes from the Philippines, you'll notice that there's cultural differences, and similar to Thailand, Malaysia, Vietnam, um, we all have cultural differences with those of us here in the West. And for example, the the vast majority of them, you don't wear the shoes inside the house; you take your shoes off at the front door and you will wear yeah and, and Philippines and um, you will wear slippers inside the house but very rare to see people wear their outside shoes past the front door they walk in the front door and take their shoes off um, same same in Thailand same same Vietnam uh, same time Philippines and my god that's a beautiful morning look at the sky there <laughs> sorry <laughs> slightly distracted <laughs> um, yeah it's it's um, there's many many cultural differences and culture also tends to mix in with tradition um, for example uh, if we're talking about the tradition of, say, a funeral. 40 days after the funeral, there is a celebration. Um, don't see that much here in the Western world. Uh, basically, the only thing we have after a funeral is a year later, we're still in, some of us are still in mourning, and we, still, and we, uh, we have an, uh, a bit of a get-together on the anniversary. Um, that's pretty much the only thing we have, but they have a celebration in the Philippines 40 days after the funeral. Um, and there's many, many, many other different cultural differences and traditional differences within relationships. And, gosh, that's pretty out there. Um, that's part of what makes the relationship a good thing, because you're always 
learning and experiencing more. There's more to a relationship. And you got to be kidding me. You couldn't just slot in behind me and then come across. Good Lord. Oh well, it takes all kinds. Yes, I know. It's very slippery too, just quietly. Oh, it's only light. That little tiny bit of water has made this road really slippery. Yes. Yeah, you see the white paint and you just go, oh no, not when it's wet, not when it's this wet and slippery. <laughs> just a lethal combination. That's hard work, coming up the hill there. That was slippery. <laughs> Back there. <laughs> she just didn't want to turn. <laughs> I, I turned the wheel and she just kept going straight ahead. <laughs> didn't want to turn. You, you could see the rainbow on the road. See this afternoon, okay? Yeah. All right. Love you. Bye. Bye. See ya.
my theory, I could be wrong, but I don't think so. When it comes to a multicultural relationship, it is the differences in culture that make the relationship so rewarding. And culture covers so many things. Um, and it's those slight differences and learning and accepting those differences, living with those differences, is what makes a multicultural relationship very rewarding. And potentially, depending upon the individual people, potentially it builds a stronger relationship because of the fact that so much learning about other culture had to be done to achieve harmony within the relationship. Um, and that is a good thing. You can trust me on that one. Um, and it covers everything from just in day-to-day -day living. Um, it just makes it... The culture covers so many things, even down to the way um, uh, meals are served. You know, um, it covers so many things, and there's so many differences in, uh, well, in my, in our case, uh, the Philippine culture compared to the Australian culture. It's definitely a case of east meets west. East meets west. Um, so, anywho. Hope you've all enjoyed this little ride on the V-Strom while we chat about the culture in a multicultural relationship. Um, the next video should cover... The next video... The next video... <laughs> yeah, gotta, gotta get the brain to catch up with the mouth. Uh, yeah, the, ne the next video uh, will be within multicultural relationships as well. And I'll chat to you more at a later date. You all have a great time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. That's that thing down the bottom. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye.